protest in Bosnia started in February. Um, first, the, uh, the protest started in Tuzla. Um, all those uh, workers that didn't get their, their uh, paychecks for years uh, or months went out on the streets and started fighting for their rights. And after the Tuzla, I mean, I think maybe in uh, 24 hours, other cities in um, Bosnia and Herzegovina also went out on the streets and uh, start with, first of all, as a solidarity with Tuzla, but later we um, we uh, had to we we got to the conclusion that we have we all have the same problems as Tuzla. Um, I need to say that uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina is very complicated. Um, state. We have uh, the state level, two entities, Republika Srpska and Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina and District Brčkom. And then in Federation we have 10 cantons. So we have so many uh, governments, uh, so many prime ministers and so many ministers and I don't know, so different levels and we didn't actually know, we couldn't find the real enemy because all of them were our enemies. Uh, so, uh, we, were, uh, we were like um, divided to those cantons in Federation and we started to fight inside of cantons and after a month maybe or two, uh, two we started to fight on that Federation level. So, um, February protests are exclusively social economic uh, and that's something we needed to, to expose. Yes, thank you. Um, we always told that so nationalism has nothing to do with our protests. One of my uh, favorite um, Banner. Maybe Banner. Moto. Banner. Banner. Yes, that uh, we, we were hungry on all three languages. That's something that uh, said that we have nothing to do with that nationalism, ethnic groups. We were unhappy and unsatisfied with our social situation, economic situation in our country because we have, I think, five or more, five, five and a half hundred thousand unemployed citizens in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So that's the main main reason why we get, got on the streets. So a uh, few days, first few days of protests were, were very violent. Uh, buildings were burning and uh, cars were in the rivers and uh, a lot of uh, people were fighting with police and that's not something that we all wanted, but that's something that gave people some kind of power. And more a lot of people were actually very, very um, unsatisfied when, when that part of protest stopped. Because that's the, that's the truth. Um, a lot of people actually wanted to see some of our politicians actually hanging on that, uh, on the street and uh, <laughs> cuffed by, uh, cuffed on, on the streets and something like that. So that's something what we actually needed because they are true, true uh, political oligarchy and true um, uh, like caste of, of ruling caste in our country and people in Bosnia and Herzegovina really had no, no political or any other power. We were um, cut off any uh, basic human rights, any working uh, rights or, or anything else. So that's why we actually wanted to see them hanging on the streets and, and, and be punished on that physical kind of way. And um, maybe 24 hours or 48 hours after the first day of protests, uh, plenums, uh, plenums were uh, organized in uh, more, I mean, actually all of 
cities in, in uh, Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina. <coughs> Republika Srpska actually was left out of these protests because they they thought that uh, these protests are uh, canalized only to that federation federation level. That's why they couldn't find the, the, themselves in, in those protests in our part of the state. Although, sorry, there are some small protests. They tried. Organized yes. By the yes. Right. They tried. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 They tried to do something, but I think that uh, the Republika Srpska have yeah. even more problems than we do. Yeah. I think that dictatura, <laughs> dictatura, <laughs> dictatorship in in, in Republika Srpska is even stronger than in the Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina. So that's why uh, Republika Srpska couldn't do anything more than, than, than that small protest in, in Banja Luka. Well, plenums. Uh, the irony is that only we in Bihać had no plenums and I'm here to talk about plenums. <laughs> so, uh, but we have those um, daily meetings and we have those um, public tribune, tribunes, yeah, tribune, tribune. Uh, public yeah. tribunes. Uh, so that's something similar, but uh, tribunes have uh, conclusions and uh, plenums have de de decisions. That's, that's the main difference between those two uh, forms. And we try to, to avoid this conclusion part of, of plenums because we were afraid of uh, political parties who, can, who could uh, came with two buses of their people and uh, Overvote us, so that so the uh, plenum will uh, lose their uh, form, lose their uh, power. So that that could be the the other political form of ruling the people. That's why we avoid we we have to avoid plenums, but um, that form of. Uh, 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 um, direct uh, democracy and uh, citizen assemblies, that's something great. Um, and uh, plenums were organized uh, in, uh, in groups, like um, every ministry, every ministry has uh, the, the, that working group who will uh, try to uh, solve the problems connected or related to that Ministry like health issues, um, school, uh, educational issues, and police issue, police issues, and something like that. So, um, people in Bosnia and Herzegovina, we had our demands, and through plenums and that daily meetings, we try to form those um, demands to that we wanted to present to our governments and one of the, the common I think demand in federal level was that we need we wanted to resi resignation of our uh, governments our cantonal governments and in few cantons we we succeeded in that uh, process we uh, we got those resignation of prime ministers uh, but that actually had no uh, um, real um, real consequence, yes, real effect. We, we wanted those expert governments, but problems are too deep to be solved in a few months and with expert government who will uh, be on the scene for about eight months because we had uh, these elections in, in October. That's, that was a, a small, small uh, time period to make uh, real changes in our society. Back to plenums. Um, plenums were actually great um, for few many reasons, uh, to a lot of reasons. Uh, like uh, people finally started to, to talk about their problems. And uh, first, uh, first those meetings or public tribunes or plenums were like um, massive psychotherapies. Uh, everyone who went on the on the went on the stage to talk about their problems, like people 
talked about everything what bothers them for about 20 years, for, for the last 20 years. And um, that's something good because uh, uh, we finally fi found that power in us and, and um, fi found someone who will listen to us and we finally spoke uh, spoke about our problems in in public. Before plenums, we talked about our problems in private, in our houses. And after the protests, we finally started to, to to talk about it in public. And everyone could could hear us, and everyone could um, know that it's he's not alone in his problems, and that that our problems were actually common problems. Um, what more? Um, um, plenums, uh, plenums actually are not going on, not still going on, not in uh, too many, too many, maybe in few small cities in Bosnia and Herzegovina, like Gracenica, I think, and um, I don't know, Zjanica maybe, I don't know, two or three cities have plenums. Uh, Tuzla, they, they, they say that they uh, still have plenums, but I think that plenum in Tuzla actually doing nothing uh, right now. So they have that uh, union of solidarity now in Tuzla and um, in Sarajevo plenum is totally off and in Bihać actually we had that Bosansko Proljeće, Bosnian Spring, that uh, we try to be that, to do that uh, daily meetings and public tribunes, but we also stopped with our um, program or, or initiatives because we lost the power, I think, uh, people. Uh, well, that's the, uh, this is the time I need to talk about uh, these bad things, about plenum or something. Uh, the bad, bad things about, not plenum, but all the situation, I think, in Bosnia and Herzegovina is that we are pretty lethargic, pretty apathic, uh, and we had unrealistic expectations. Even we who were in those organizations of plenum or, or whatever, our expect expectations of all of us citizens of, of Bosnia and Herzegovina were that all of our problems will be solved in 20 days. And after that, we'll live in Switzerland. But actually, that's, that's impossible and the problems are too big and too deep to be solved in, in not year, but decades of, from this point, this moment to, uh, to the next 20 maybe years. And that's why I think that's why the people lost their trust in plenums and um, avoid them and uh, stop coming onto plenums and... Yeah, but on the other hand, sorry, the, the plenums were the starting point for some new initiatives that are now... Yes, already. of course, so of course. Yeah. Plenums are, plenums are, maybe the, the, the story of, uh, with plenums in this point is, is, is over, but, but, okay. we actually didn't stop. Um, people of Bosnia and Herzegovina are different now than they were before February. That's definitely uh, uh, that's something that is changed in Bosnia and Herzegovina. In in every head of uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, that's something that is changed and something that will um, is maybe a power to build something new, something better, and. Um, we will try, we, we are trying to organize ourselves because in February we had no organization, we had no plans. Uh, those protests came out of the bloom, so we got on the streets without any uh, plans or demands. We form, formulated those uh, demands for our governments uh, in the same time of when protests were uh, going on. So um, now we are smarter, we have more experience, and we know what not to do and what to do. That's something that is good now, and um, ten, 
I don't know, eight months after the, the, the February, we did learn something and we'll try to do something better, something that will um, connect all of the people from not only Federation, but Republika Srpska also, and District Brčko. And that's something that it, that it is important, because when we are connected on the state level, that's more power to the people. Because now it's not Bihać all, all by itself, it's not Tuzla all by itself, Sarajevo, etc. We are all connected and Bihać is protesting when Sarajevo is protesting and Tuzla is protest, protesting when Banja Luka is on the street and that's the, that's the I think that's the main, um, that's the, um, no, I bet you, the biggest, the biggest, um, benefit, yes, of, <laughs> of all these protests of uh, February and plenums and everything that uh, happened in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So, uh, elections were held in, in, in October, political situation is, if not the same, maybe worse than it was before October, uh, we are completely aware of it and now maybe it's good, it's better for us because we have now three parties that we uh, need to fight to, with, against, um, like National Party, SDA uh, of that Bosniak party, HDZ, it's like Croat party, and those S and SD or something like that in, in Republika Srpska. Uh, so we have those three enemies that we need to fight against. And maybe that's better for us, for us because it's uh, now it's a smaller group of people that we need to fight against, and um, our enemies now are known to everyone. And we are we are stronger than we were, and I hope that we will we will proceed, and that we in the next future time we will do something better in Bosnia and Herzegovina and that we will make Bosnia and Herzegovina state worth of living and worth of fighting for.